God loves the gays, so says the Pope, according to a Chilean gay man who spoke to the Pope privately. As of Thursday, the Vatican has neither denied nor confirmed the comments. Juan Carlos Cruz, one of the main whistleblowers in Chile's clerical sex abuse scandal, met with Pope Francis and told the Associated Press about the conversation, he said, Look Juan Carlos, the Pope loves you this way. God made you like this and he loves you, Cruz said. LGBTQ advocates are taking this statement as another sign that the Catholic Church is looking to embrace the queer community and make them feel more welcome. Dignity USA, a Catholic organization working for equality of LGBTQ folks, said the Pope's remarks could have dogma transforming ramifications. The Pope saying that God created an individual as gay goes far beyond a statement of welcome, said Marianne Duddy Burke, Dignity as his executive director, in a statement. It sets a new foundation for Catholic teaching about sexual orientation that is very different than what has been traditionally stated. If God creates us with our sexual orientation or gender identity as part of who we are, the doctrine that LGBTQI people are not part of God's plan for humanity cannot stand. We can no longer be considered objectively disordered, and the entire theology of human identity and relationships will need to be reconsidered. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, a summary of Catholic teachings, says homosexuality is objectively disordered. Local Catholic leaders, including those at Street Bernard's Church in Sacred Heart in Eureka and St. Mary's Catholic Church in Arcata, declined to comment or did not return requests for comment. The Diocese of Santa Rosa, which oversees Humboldt County, also did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Sarah J. Hart, the program leader for the Religious Studies program at Humboldt State University, was not surprised by the lack of response from local Catholic leaders and churches. My suspicion is the lack of response has less to do with unwillingness to engage with this conversation but an unwillingness to do it in public, she said. Hart noted that the Pope's comment is not the first time he has expressed an openness to LGBTQ communities. In 2013, Pope Francis was asked about a gay lobby in the Vatican and responded, Who am I to judge? But despite these remarks, when it comes down to changing the official views of the Church, they have not changed in decades, he's been pushing the boundaries but not a single move has been made to change doctrine, she said. Advertisement She said the way that priests and deacons locally treat parishioners is a priest by priest choice. In her own experience in local Catholic churches, she has seen both liberal and conservative priests who interpret the church's doctrine in their own ways. I think it's church by church and priest by priest, she said. Looking at the pews, I think we have an incredibly diverse Catholic body. The humbled Catholic community on the whole is a welcoming place, she noted that change in the Catholic Church is an extraordinarily slow process. They haven't accepted divorce yet. They're going to have to accept divorce first, she said. Then maybe they'll accept women in the priesthood. But they have a hard time with gender. It's a bunch of old dudes, she noted that one of the last things that Father Eric Fried's final projects he was working on, she shared an office with Fried at Shu, was work on the role of the family in the Catholic Church. His basic thesis was that Jesus administered to families that were not standard nuclear families, Hart said. As the Catholic Church progressed, he was administering the traditional families. We are beholden to recognize our role and work with families outside of the norm. Divorcees would fit into that. LGBT would fit into that. It appears the church and its leaders are moving in that direction. Hart sees the need for new blood to cement some of those changes. It's going to take a new generation of theologians, she said.
Outspoken publishes weekly in the Times Standard. Ruth Schneider can be reached at 707-441-0520.